today some quick fire technical tips in Adobe Illustrator. So stay tuned and learn something new in today's video. As designers, it's important to have a website to show off our portfolio of work. Bookmark offers the most straightforward and quickest way to generate an awesome website without even having to write down a single line of code and all completed in a matter of minutes. Check out the link in the description below to learn more about Bookmark and design your website today. So the first technical design tip that I have for you in Illustrator is something I figured out quite a long time ago. Now it relates to the technical drawing aspect of Illustrator and using the smart guides. Of course, you probably already know about the smart guides as they help align and keep objects or points level throughout the design process. And you can turn those on or off by pressing Command or Control U. Now as you can see when I'm using the pen tool, if I place it around an anchor point, a magenta line is going to appear when it's in line with that point. That's pretty simple, right? However, the problem is that sometimes Illustrator will not give you the smart guide to the point or the location that you want to be using. So for example, take the right hand spike on the shape that I've just drawn. Illustrator is not telling me when I'm lined up with it, no matter how many times I move the pen tool around. So what you can do is to bring the pen tool to the point and simply hover it over the anchor point. Now when I take it away, a smart guide has been issued letting me know when I can plot my next path in line with that point. So one more time, let's do it again with the top anchor point. There is a line, but it's not level with the uppermost point that I want it to be. So again, bring the pen tool to the anchor point, and then you're gonna have a precise smart guide appear for your drawing techniques. Now the second technical tip in Illustrator is based around measurements. Now sometimes it's handy to have a perfect match of on-screen measurements to real life. So for example, if I have one centimeter on my rulers, I want it to be exactly one centimeter in real life. Now without getting a physical ruler to measure your screen, how can you achieve this? Firstly, come into Illustrator Preferences and then go into the General section. And here you're going to find a setting that will make sure that whenever you zoom in on your artboard to 100% scale, the measurements on screen will correlate perfectly to the measurements in real life. So when I now zoom into 100% magnification, the centimeters on my rulers are equal to real life centimeters. Now this is handy for proofing your work and also visualizing size on your designs. Moving on to the third point today, I have a quick eyedropper tip that you might not know about. Now pressing I for the eyedropper tool allows you to quickly sample shapes, fills, and the color too. However, what if you simply just want to sample the stroke and not the fill? You may or you may not know that you can double click the eyedropper tool in the toolbar and that will bring up this menu here. Now this is going to allow you to have control over what you sample with the eyedropper tool. So I can turn off, say, the fill settings. Now when I use the eyedropper tool again, I only sample the strokes. Of course, you can also use the select same function depending on your personal preference. The fourth of five Illustrator tips today relates to gradients. When you're actually using the gradient window to edit the gradient in your designs, it could be annoying and it's not really that ideal to use the gradient window and also the sliders here. There is a more interactive and a more helpful way to do things. And I can't actually remember how new this setting is. And I'm using CC, so I'm sorry if you don't have this on your version of Illustrator. But in the view menu, make sure that you've got the gradient annotator showing and not hidden. And then when working on a gradient, simply press G to bring the annotator up. Now you can control the gradient relative to the shape, which is a lot better visually and it's more practical I find. You can also move the annotator slider around and adjust it in such a way that creates more interesting and precise results. The last tip in today's Illustrator tutorial video is one that really helps me when I'm working on things like logo designs. Now if I select this logo here, you can see all of the numerous anchor points, which actually in this case, block my view of the artwork. 
This can be annoying and it's also a hindrance to your workflow. So simply press Command or Control H to hide the anchor points. You can actually still use the direct selection tool to pinpoint specific anchor points and also edit them and move them around, but they're simply just hidden from view. And when you're done, just press Command or Control H again and the anchor points will become visible once more. Now in Illustrator CC, you can also adjust the size of the anchor points too, which can be somewhat helpful, but it's always handy to know that you can hide the entire selection as well. So yeah, there is today's video on five different technical tips in Adobe Illustrator. If you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel for weekly graphic design content. And of course, like and share my videos on social media if you want to help out my channel. Also, if you want to become a Patreon and support my channel, check the links down below for the perks and the different tiers over there on Patreon. And until next time, design a future today. Peace.